In a Denver 7 exclusive, a family's quest for justice after a father of two is killed just two days before Thanksgiving. Someone hit him as he was walking in his own neighborhood and then just drove off. Now the family of 42-year-old Jason Barella is making a plea. Here's Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo. Knowing that there's these people out there somewhere is just, you know, really hard for us right now, so. It's supposed to be a time of joy. But what happened near these train tracks on 13th and Otis? And I believe he was possibly on his way home from work when um, this happened and yeah, we were worried. We called him. Changed treasure in Lexi's lives. You see them before they go to work, before you leave to work, you know, and they just disappear. The dad, Jason, was walking late at night but never came home. That's when he got struck by the vehicle. We found out the next day, and it was just like a hit in the face, you know? The driver took off. Jason didn't make it. He's a son, a father to me, um, a brother. He's just more than just some person that they hit and left behind how they did. You took a great man's life. He was always happy, very loving, and I just hope you know you hurt a lot of us. He was, you know, a grandfather to my son whose birthday was just Saturday. And it's right before the holidays, so it's very hard for all of us. The only comfort this family has is knowing Jason didn't die alone. Someone was actually there trying to help him and trying to get help for him. You know, they weren't those people that just got out the car and just seen him and just took off, you know. They actually tried to help him and they wanted to give him his life back, you know, trying to help him. But it was too late. If you have any information about this crime, please report it to the Lakewood Police Department. Jason's daughters are also trying to start a petition for more speed bumps and street lights in that area. They say a lot of drivers speed there and there isn't enough lighting. I'm Thomas Hoppo, number seven.